Marcus French, Marcus, welcome to Fight Day, mate. Right, so uh, you're, on, you're on your journeys to uh, Doncaster, is it, for the yeah. English title? Yeah, on the 25th of um, November, I fight um, title holder Lee Appleyard for the English title. Okay, uh, been watching you spar to, um, train today. Um, how do you think your training's been going? Yeah, it's, it's good. Um, I mean, my trainers always tell you, I, I over train sometimes. So this camp's more about listening, you know what I mean? The training bit, I always do anyway, and yeah. I put myself out there, but I've just got to listen more. So today, like, you know, everyone was sparring. I got told I ain't sparring today. I've got to spar in the week, you know what I mean? So usually I would have said, yeah, I just slept in for a few rounds, but I just stayed on the bag, done what work I had to do today. And just got the job done, just listen more now. Yeah, so um, what do you know about um, your opponent then? I don't look too much into my trainers and my team, I leave that to my team. He's got an English title for a reason, he won by Stafford, he's yeah. backstud. You know, um, even though he lost the daddy backstud. Um, you know, he's, 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 he's alright, he's got a similar same, same record as me. But you know, it's not about him, it's about what I do. So I've just got to make sure I turn up really. Um, do you know what, that's brilliant. Um, your, last, your last fight you won. Yeah, look, my last two I've won. One before that, Baxter, I think I've done an interview with you, yeah, Baxter Robbie Barrett. He's Robbie Barrett's stable, mate. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, you know, not taking every grade from Robbie Barrett. I didn't turn up that day, I made the weight wrong, I've done a few things wrong. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was bragging rights, right? Yeah, that's it. That was a very late yeah. night as yeah, well. Yeah, that's insane. And, uh, but as you say, like, um, I've been for this English title shot and it's through hard work, it's come again, you know what I mean? Just got a tw What's the, what's the saying? Once bitten, twice shy. Yeah. So you, just, you know what? But like even even in that 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 point um, for your last last English title, of me, you just a nick away, you know. What yeah, I mean? I mean like um, the like when I when the rounds were going down, I mean I've done the ten rounds comfortably, you know. Um, I was knackered in them. I was getting tired. I was getting tired, and that's. When you when you make your weight wrong, you know what yeah. I mean. It starts taking you out in the latter round, la later rounds. Um, I, and I just wanted to try and knock out, and I just looked all all trying to do it, just trying to throw a big shot. But this time, I met the weight right, and I'll show why I should be English champion and why I'm going to be English champion. That is fantastic, mate. And it changed my career. I mean, like, it was, oh yeah, it was, boost yeah, my yeah, yeah, boost me straight back up there. Yeah. I mean, I was there before, you know, and I let the chance go. So this time, oh, well, do you know what? Wish you all the best, mate, and the we'll, we'll, Birmingham Boxing Column will be vying for you, you know what I mean? We're, we're all up for a Birmingham, lads. Even they support the wrong teams. I thought he was, was going to say they're going to buy tickets. With Birmingham Boxing, we'll buy tickets. Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? If, if I'm free, oh, yeah, God, oh no, I'll message no, out, a private message out, <laughs> there is no, There is no problem there, Marcus. No. But uh, is there anything you want to say to your fans, um, uh, your sponsors? Uh, I want to thank, thank all my sponsors for... Uh, their continued support. Without us, you know, we won't be able to do the thing, we won't be able to train full time. Um, my fans just keep buying tickets. I mean, the, the support I'm gonna get I'm getting so far and you know, even the messages that you're giving me. It's all appreciated and just keeps me spurred on and I'm gonna bring that title back to Birmingham. It's a better place in Doncaster. <laughs> Everyone, Marcus French, Marcus. Nice son. Well, it was great today catching up with Frenchie at uh, Eastside Gym. You know what I mean? He was going through a fat burning uh, session. You know what I mean? Working really hard. Uh, he's got his second shot at the English title. Um, he's worked his way back there. You know, he's, he's put in the graft. And uh, he seems really determined to do it this time. Uh, a lot of factors come into last time um, in not uh, getting uh, the win. Right, but uh, I think he's got all that set in his head now, and he's uh, he's ready to go and he's ready to do it. You know, he's fighting 25th of November in Doncaster. Um, wish him all the best, and uh, the the Birmingham Boxing Column will be looking on to see how he does.